has there ever been a power so immense, so transformative, that it has been feared, controlled, and even banned? Welcome to the world of the written word, where ideas can be so potent they are deemed too dangerous to exist. The act of banning books has a long and complex history, and it all began with one man, Thomas Morton, and his book, New English Canaan, published in 1637. Morton, a man who relished life and embraced the indigenous people of Massachusetts, found himself in direct opposition to the conservative Puritan society of the time. His book, A Critique of Puritan Life, was seen as a threat to their way of life, leading to its ban and Morton's ostracism. Around the same period, books like The Christian Commonwealth by John Eliot and The Meritorious Price of Our Redemption by William Pynchon faced similar fates, their anti-Puritan sentiments leading to their censorship. But if we expand our definition of book banning, we find even more chilling examples in history. Between 259 BC and 210 BCE, the Chinese Emperor Qin Shi Huang executed 460 Confucian scholars, effectively burying their words with them. Fast forward to 35 CE, the Roman Emperor Caligula attempted to suppress Homer's The Odyssey, fearing its narrative might inspire ideas of freedom. In more recent times, the act of killing writers has thankfully faded away. But the banning of books based on subjective ideas of obscenity persists. However, the latter half of the 20th century brought a shift in attitudes, with the 1960s and 1970s pushing boundaries and challenging censorship. The 1980s saw a significant moment in the history of banned books when booksellers at the American Booksellers Association Book Expo America trade show locked over 500 banned books in a large cage, drawing attention to the practice of censorship. This act helped introduce Banned Books Week, an awareness campaign that continues to shed light on the dangers of censorship. But the act of banning books often proves futile and in some cases, even dangerous. Around 1497, Girolamo Savonarola, a Florentine who fancied himself a moral dictator, attempted to ban jokes, sex, and any form of vice in literature. In summary, the banning of books has a long, complicated, and often dark history. From the Puritans to present day, the fear of the written word and the ideas it can convey has led to countless attempts at control and censorship. But as history has shown, the power of the written word cannot be so easily contained and attempts to do so often only serve to highlight its transformative potential.